Um, Gio, four minutes in the first half, obviously because of the foul trouble. Second half, you were able to stay on the court a heck of a lot more. What was the difference for you, and, and how were you able to make it pay off? I mean, well, in the first, the first, the beginning of the game, they called some, I think, some fouls that were just pretty cheap. And, uh, I think actually the whole first half they were calling fouls that a lot of people didn't think were fouls. But in the second half, I just tried to play smarter because I knew I was in foul trouble already. And I actually came back in and I picked up one uh, early in the second in the, uh, in the second half. But you know, I tried not to let that like frustrate me or get me down. Keep playing. So. How satisfying is it for you, especially again being a Middletown guy? You're right between oh, yeah. two uh, yeah. campuses to to contribute so much to beating a local rival, I guess. I mean, it means a lot. Uh, it's a, Obviously, they recruited me uh, in high school, so it just means a lot to be able to uh, get this win and, and uh, even up the score. But Because since my freshman year, I think we uh, – I think after today's win, we split two and four with them, I think. Two and two, two and two, my bad. So, I think that was – I was talking to the – the coach there a little bit. The first half, not not that thing, much of a thing of beauty to start off. In fact, um, Miami didn't have a field goal until the 14 minute mark, roughly. Uh, uh, was, uh, was there some frustration setting in uh, out there? Um, no, nah, not really. We just try to um, stay with it, no, not trying to let it um, affect us. And I mean, we, we always. Um, prepare for, for for stuff like this. Like, just, it's just like we was missing a ball, we weren't really trying to let that get to us. So we just going out there and keep, um, just kept on trying to compete. And and things um, start falling and we start getting it going. Was there any particular thing that they were doing? I mean, there were a couple times that uh, there were like either shot clock violations or, or close to it any Anyway, any particular thing that they were doing to kind of make it more difficult? Uh, not really. Uh, I think they uh, they played a lot of pack defense, which really packed the paint because we like to drive. So I think that was the biggest thing they did. But we were able to still get to the lane and make some plays. As a as a as a team, it's been a little bit of a struggle from the perimeter. Uh, you guys just coming off. Uh, Exams and everything. I don't know how much chance you got to to work on stuff and everything. Uh, but with the max season, you know, around yeah. the corner, do you do you think uh, have some confidence in that coming together for you? Uh, I think by the time Mac plays start, I think we'll be uh, we'll be a really good team. Uh, but first, we got to handle the the uh, non conference schedule. So and probably get as many wins as we can there before the before we start regular season. Scored 13 points coming off the bench. Um, are you liking that role? I mean, coming in and maybe you know, uh, Mr. Six Man kind of guy. Uh. Um, I mean, I've been I've been kind of doing this since um, I got here, because um, I know um, these last few years we didn't really have people to come off the bench to score, and I know. Um, I can be one of the um, people to, to, to do that and kind of have a little bit um leeway when I get in there. So, I mean, in times it kind of, like, affected me, but at the same time, I know at the end of the day um, it's a sacrifice that I got to make and which I, I really don't mind. And as you can see tonight, um, I came in, did what I had to do, and the coaches believed in me. And, it, and it, it, <clears throat> everything went from there. So, as um, far as coming out the bench, I, I don't, I really don't mind for real. You don't know if they're rooting for Gio to get that third foul, are you? Like, oh no, 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 no! I, I always wanted to be in a game with him. Man, who been playing for a while, so yeah. Sure. Um, first of all, you know, I think. Obviously, if you take a look at the beginning of the game, um, one of the things we emphasized was coming out and, and being ready to play from the very beginning. Um, well, I don't know how much they listened to me on that. Um, 
for whatever reason. And I don't know if it's that we were lethargic or whatever, but I, you know, anytime you play against one of Billy's teams, um, with the way they defend you, they play the gap defense. They certainly sit in all the lanes. So there's an adjustment uh, period going through that. Um, I thought we were able to sort of fight our way back. Um, Zach McCormick certainly helped that. Um, Dion um, in the first half particularly those guys and we're able to get production from uh, Willie Moore and then of course uh, Logan McLean. Um, Logan McLean really played well and and stepped up for us uh, uh, today and more importantly as you look at the rebounds we had multiple guys that had at least five rebounds it's it's been the stress of um, I guess we've stressed it I should say here um, over the past, I guess it's been a week now, um, the rebounding, rebounding as a team, um, continuing to fight and to get better in that area has certainly hindered us um, here throughout the season. So hopefully we're on our way back um, to that. I thought one of the keys was that we were able to get to the foul line. Um, we were able to get to the foul line early in the first half and then, of course, in the second half. And been talking about trying to get to the foul line anywhere from 26 to 30 times a game. And we were able to get there 28 times and we make 23. So uh, typically when we get there, we're a pretty decent free throw shooting team. Um, conversely, we didn't put them there um, too many times. But yet and still, they shot 10 and 25 from three-point range. And they're a three-point shooting team um, and in the first half. Their two best shooters, uh, Benzinger and Yoho, were five of seven um, from the field. And so um, that was one of the areas that we certainly needed to get taken care of. And, you know, I thought we did a better job there in the second half, although we lost Benzinger um, one of the times in transition, which was frustrating. But um, we didn't close the game out the way I'd, I'd like us to close it out. Um, unforced turnover um, by Eric, losing Benzing, um, Benzinger. Um, in transition, so we've got to continue to get better at that and understand how you close out games. It's, it's impressive the way your team was able to come back with Geo limited to just four minutes right. in the first half with yeah. the fouls. And I, um, you, you mentioned Zach coming in, and the whole bench really seemed to contribute to that. Right. Well, I, you know, obviously G getting in foul trouble um, certainly hurt us. I thought one of the keys for that is that. Even when we put G back in the second half, he picked up his third foul pretty early. But I thought from a mental um, standpoint that he was locked in and focused. So when he did get back in, he was ready to play. Um, you know, it wasn't one of those games where he sort of lost uh, a feel for the game. But, um, you know, obviously you have a senior and, and you hope that they can understand how to stay prepared when you get in foul trouble. Um, he did a good job of that. Um, we've got to get Rob Mills playing better. Um, he struggled today didn't seem to have the right amount of energy. But, you know, we had some other guys that um, stepped up and, and picked up, and that's what you need to do. Uh, you've probably been down this path a few times, but how is it when they're coming out of exam weekend? Mm. I know they didn't hit a field goal until almost the 14-minute mark, but uh, that could have been the right. day, too. How would you feel about I mean, I, it? I you know, this is this is the truth. I don't know if any coach likes their team coming out of exam week, the first game out of exam week. For whatever reason, as a player, I did not believe it. And we always struggled. I remember that. And now, you know, and I don't I don't know if it's necessarily the exams, but your schedule is so changed up during exam week. You know, I think a lot of times athletes are creatures of habit. And, you know, when you get into exams and, and particularly, you know, you take exams here, you know, it's not a walk through the park. That's for sure. So you've got to be ready. You've got to study. And, and we're adjusting our schedules. There was a couple of days there we were supposed to practice. And an hour before, we have to make an adjustment because we've got a couple of guys that have got to go to study session. But I thought once we got the cobwebs out, we started playing um, better. Um, obviously, well, there's some areas we need to improve. Uh, improve in, but you know we we were able to get our time in and practice this week. But I'm glad that the exams are over. Yoho, Yoho had uh, points in the first half, 17 total. Right. Um, so he was, uh, you know, getting it done in that first half. Was he a focus for you? Yeah, I mean, you know, he was shooting 51% uh, from three when we came in. Well, that's that's pretty doggone good. And of course, he goes three of three. Um, in the first half. Um, we limit him in the second half. He's 0-2. One of the things is to make him put the ball down on the floor. 
Um, credit to that young man from coming back from an injury um, from last year. But I thought we did a much better job. Um, there was a point there early in the second half, and I'm not sure if it's because they were in foul trouble or not, but Billy, Billy went small and went to four guards. And we couldn't quite guard them the way we wanted to, and that's when they cut the lead. We were able to make the adjustment, and we adjusted to going guards. And at that point, um, Willie Moore was on him a lot, and we had guards, and those seemed to be um, a much better uh, matchup for uh, for us. And you know, the key was making sure we keep him off the foul line, run him off the three point line, and make him play in between. The, fifth, the fifteen turnovers, obviously, probably a little more than. And only, and thanks for reminding me of that. Um, I think the good part is that Eric was uh, four to one. Um, he should have been, should have had eight, eight assists, one turnover instead of the last one. Um, but yeah, I mean that's better. He obviously has the ball an inordinate amount of time, um, but we still got to get some guys down. Um, get the turnovers down, and, and a couple of them hurt us there in the uh, second half. Harona driving, loses control of the ball. They go the other way, and then the same thing happened with Willie Moore. Instead of both of those guys just picking up the ball, and instead of trying to dribble the ball out of trouble, you got to just pick up the ball and, and live to see another day. Billy seemed to think the call started changing a little bit after you got the technical foul. Do you feel like that might have had uh, an impact there? I got a technical. I don't know. I, all I'll say is that um, I thought there was a foul early in the game. It wasn't called. It's part of the game. And then we got called for a chuck, uh, for chucking their cutter. And I thought we were getting chucked on ours. So I told the official. And obviously I got a technical early in the game. But, you know, it, I mean, let, let's face it. The officials, this, this is a difficult job they have now with all the new rules. I'm not – you know, blind to that. So they're making adjustments just just the same. But, you know, if you're going to call us for chucking, then we got to make sure that we get the call the other way. Um, so I don't know. Probably shouldn't get technicals. I told my kids I wouldn't get any more. So that means dad's probably got to buy something. I don't know. Something, ice cream or something. But I got them. I, don't, I never thought I'd get technicals. If I was ever a head coach, I never thought I'd get technicals. Well, I have surpassed that. Uh, you know, but you know, sometimes it it helps. Um, I think hopefully our team woke up a little bit. You know, but you know, we'll take it. I'm not going to sit and and talk about the officials. When we lose, we lose. Uh, it's not the officials. We win, we win. It's not the officials. It's just not. You know. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Yep. Yeah.